There seems to be a lack of knowledge and personal experiences of getting a Moderna booster after Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine, so I thought I'd share our experience. I got the Johnson & Johnson COVID vaccine back in April. The reason I got it was that it was a one and done shot. I don't regret it, but now that it's time for the booster, from what I was hearing on the news, that getting the Moderna booster after Johnson & Johnson like skyrocketed your immunity and all that. So uh, it was kind of a no-brainer for me. Here's how it went. Did it hurt? The needle, not the actual yeah. stuff. Not bad. I was really shocked. The shot itself was painless. The needle I felt when we got the Johnson & Johnson, it burned like nothing I'd ever experienced before when the vaccine was going in. And for the next five minutes, it burned. And this one, I was so pleasantly surprised. The vaccine itself did not hurt at all. And maybe because it's just a half dose, so it's, it's not that much going in you. I got it at 10.30 in the morning, and by the evening, I was feeling pretty bad. <laughs> Moderate body aches and low-grade fever, feeling like poop, lasted for a good 36 hours, which was, I think, longer than the original vaccine I got. So, mm, not fun. But these side effects are proof that your immune system is activated and doing what it's supposed to be doing, making those cells so that they know what to do when COVID is introduced to your body. This is two days later, I'm feeling back to normal, completely amazing and really excited to be at my tip top immune level. But of course now we have this Omicron variant coming and uh, what's happening? I'm over it. You too? Thanks for watching, subscribe for more. Take care, be safe guys, bye.